Hi viewers, welcome to Regina Aura. For this section, we are going to be using Enterprise Manager Cloud Control to create a whole database backup. Okay, I have a video already that deals with backup using Harman, but I got a request um, to do the same video using Enterprise Manager Cloud Control. I hope this is very helpful. If you try it and you find it a bit taxing, um, send me an email. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, for us to start, we have to um, log into our Enterprise Manager Cloud Control. So um, I'm just going to um, log in there. Okay, I have a user ready, so I'm just going to have the password there. And then, sorry about that. I have a password. For us to do a whole backup for a target database, um, you need to be connected to that target database. So I'm going to go to targets and then click on databases. Okay, I have this um, tool. That's my Enterprise Manager Cloud Control manage several databases on this server. So um, OLCL is just one of the databases that you have it managed. You can see that. Um, let me just give you a sneak peek into what I have. Okay, so you can see I have um, several databases here, but the one up at the moment is the OLCL database, okay? I'm going to click on availability, and then we'll go to backup and recovery, then we'll see schedule. So I'm going to click on schedule backup, and then um, under the part for the schedule backup, well, we'll see several backup strategies uh, that we can use like the schedule or um, suggested backup and the schedule customized backup which actually um, this is what we'll be um, looking at in this section okay under the customized backup you can see we have um, all database backup which is what we're doing and then you have other uh, backups that you would like to do but I would just um, show you how to do this and then you can go um, that you can go through that process for the other ones Okay, now if you're doing this for the first time, you're likely to have um, no name credential um, registered yet as like um, an error message. Okay, so it's important to get familiar with the host credential path where you need to supply open system login credential. I already have mine, and then um, you can see my username here is Oracle, and then the password um, I have it there. Um, schedule customized backup. So this path takes us through for different steps and then we're going to look at how we'll go through each of them one after the other okay um, the first part um, is to give us um, a, a quick summary of what we're doing like we are having the database around still and what we're doing is the strategy is customized backup what object are we picking we're picking the whole database itself so you can see the um, backup type here you have the full backup and incremental backup we do a full backup and then i'm going to use my full backup as a base of an incremental backup strategy so i'm just going to check this path here then the backup mode we are doing right now is an online backup because our database is open let me just um show you that here before we continue okay you can see our database is um opened okay okay so let's go on what we're doing then you can um take um a look at the advanced mode let me take this a bit slower so that you can get the proper view okay you can see the advanced mode where you can also choose to back up your archive logs on disk and then you can decide to delete your archive logs from this after they are successfully backed up okay the next step is actually to look at our settings um, and this path is where you want to um, your backup to go to that's the destination media you can see Dix, you can see tape, um, actually doing a backup to Dix. Then you can see the location of our FRA area, okay? I'm going to just leave it this, then go to next. The next thing here is to schedule um, your backup, okay? And then give your job a name, okay? Um, you can decide your job name, but it gives a name by default, which is backup, which is actually what we're doing. Okay, but you can decide to give it a name. Description is um, all database backup. And then you can see the schedule type is a one time, that's like right now type of backup. If you want it to be done later, you can have this one time later, and then you give a time. 
um, start time and the a start date and the start time when you want this backup to be done and if you want it to be repeating also you can um, look at um, that and then fill the specific um, um, information you need for your backup okay so be repeating okay uh, but I'm just going to leave it at one time immediately backup so we click on next Okay, um, this part is just a schedule customized backup review and then you can look at what we're doing, the backup mode and everything we just did. You would see the Ironman script, that's this the Ironman script that was generated for us. Okay, you can choose to edit this Ironman script if it doesn't suit you or you want to do some customization and then you know okay with the script you can just to edit it just all you need to do is just to click on the edit Ironman script and then but if you're okay with this just as I am yeah we're just going to click on submit job okay now you can view the start of your job by clicking this I hope this has been very helpful. Thank you for viewing. Don't forget to drop your comment and subscribe to my channel.